Hello. Welcome to your procedure. We are going to do a little bit of massaging of the back. I see that you are completely in the correct position, face down. And are you comfortable with this? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just get your hair out of the way. Just going to gently rub my fingers through it. You have beautiful hair. And for your convenience, I have supplied a hair tie to help us get this out of the way. Okay? So let me... All right, so to begin our service for today, I want to just check and see how's the temperature of the bed. Is it good? Okay, wonderful. So I'm going to gently pull the sheet down, okay? And I just want you to relax. And as I do this, we're just exposing a little bit more of the back. And we just take this down to the waist. Okay? How's that? Fabulous. Okay, and I'm just going to do a little tucking. Just tucking. Uh-huh. Okay. So as we begin, I start by getting your body comfortable to my gentle touch and familiar with the sensation of hands on your back. And while I'm doing this introduction to touch, I'm also feeling for any abrasions, any lumps or bumps that really can help indicate some areas that I need to stay clear of throughout our time together. I know that you reported some tenderness up here in the shoulder area, and that's just fine. I will definitely keep that in mind. So, let's see here, just tucking that hair nice and snug. Okay, and I'm just going to take my fingers like this and do some very close palpating of the area of the skin. Sometimes even things like acne, cystic acne, or any sort of rash or eczema, sometimes that can be quite tender. And so I like to just make sure that we're not dealing with any of that, okay? Okay, I'm just going to take this a little bit further down, okay? Just like that. Okay. All right, yes, I do feel some tenderness here on the tailbone. A little bit inflamed, maybe some water retention. Have you had a recent injury down there? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So starting here at the top, I'm going to begin by making gentle, soft circles with the fingertips hand. You'll notice the pressure that I'm using is very gentle, but I am applying some amount of depth to the back area to really loosen up the top layer of the skin and let those muscles know that we are coming in today and that they can relax. Mm-hmm.
Okay, so down as we get lower, you requested a little bit more firm pressure. That's totally fine. I'm doing that now for you. Okay. We're just going to do some light sweeping. This is increasing the blood circulation here. This is what we want. We want lots of the blood moving, lots of the toxins being released here to really create a cleansed and rejuvenated sensation throughout the entire musculoskeletal system. And we do that by really paying special attention to this particular area. Okay, so I'm just going to reach over like this. And now I know that in your consultation paperwork, you did request that I provide you with information along the way as to what I'm doing and the purpose of that movement. Yes, that is a unique question on an intake form. However, we have found that a lot of our patrons feel more comfortable and empowered and safer when they have clear consent and awareness of what's happening to their bodies. And some people don't mind and that's just fine. It's whatever makes you feel comfortable and able to relax. Okay. Next, I cleanse the area, so to speak, by using my entire hand. You can feel the warmth from my palms, and we really just flatten this out. Very good. Now this one I hope is not going to be too hurtful, but we do do some slight pinching, okay? I'm using a gentle pressure here. And again, waking up the skin, waking up the muscles, increasing blood flow to each area. Sweeping, scratching all the way up. Great. Great. Okay. And now I'm just stabilizing the left shoulder here with my left hand, going in with my right into this shoulder blade area right where we have our rhomboids which can get extremely tender for a lot of us side sleepers people working on the computer so i'm gonna put some counter pressure here right on the edge of this shoulder is that comfortable for you okay i am gonna go in with some firm pressure are you ready for that all right let's go ahead and do that coming in just like that using my elbow that's been lubricated with some wonderful massage lotion and this allows for deeper penetration into the muscle using my elbow that is much stronger than some of my hands good gentle release there how's that feeling And coming in, still stabilizing here, and I'm just going to do a little bit of this jigging motion, okay? This is not very painful, but um, could be definitely uncomfortable, okay? Just going in like that, sweeping out. So we're going in and sweeping out. Fabulous. In. 
sweeping out. Great. Okay. Same thing on the other side, stabilizing the right shoulder with one hand. This time I'm going to be coming from a different angle that is allowing a much deeper connection between your muscles and my elbow. So I'm going to come in just like this. Here we go. Okay. Great. And sweeping that up. Just as the other side, going in with some deeper penetration and sweeping down. In with some deeper penetration and sweeping it down. That's great. Okay. One of the things that is important for us to pay attention to as we do this procedure is definitely where the spinal cord goes, right? Yes, I, you'll notice I'm being very gentle along this uh, area because it is quite tender. We have lots and lots of nerve endings right through here that go all the way up. And we know that these nerve endings are, go all the way up into our neck. They go across our entire body. And then as we go down below, those ones go down into that part of our body. So here we can sometimes have some inflammation. And the way that that's indicated is if I push, it feels a little mushy, okay? It feels, I can feel some fluid retention along that area. Whereas in other parts, it just feels like a finger pushing onto skin. You really don't feel that pushback from any sort of fluid or inflamed tissue. Okay. So going along this area, Special attention to the tenderness around here. Just gently moving that fluid and just getting it to disperse. I'm going to do a gentle stretch here. It's going to feel a little contraindicated as I will be applying pressure to the top left side in, in the conjoint with your lower right side. Okay, so gentle stretch here. Good. Taking a deep breath through that. You're doing wonderful. Okay. And alternating sides, so I've got pressure on the right shoulder, other hand is going to go down to your left hip, and we're going to twist. Here we go, and one, two, three, four, five, great. And 
I'm going to bring in an item that's going to help with some further stretching that I will tell you about. This is our stretch band. And what this does is it helps me really get a grip onto the skin and help really twist and not twist in a painful way, don't worry. We are incredibly delicate and mindful for all people's physical issues and of course utilizing these tools in such a way that remains safe and reparative. And so this particular stretch wrap really allows us to get a deeper stretch in a way that my hands really aren't capable of, okay? So, as you can see, it's just a white piece of fabric that we're going to use. Putting the length of it there. Okay. Okay, here we go. And one, two, three, breathe. Great. Okay. One, two, three. Two, three. Okay, securing that there with one, two, three. One, two, three. Just like that. One, two, three. How are you doing? Fabulous. All right. So as I put this away, we will come back to utilizing my hands. Let me place that to the side. Here we go. So as we are coming to an end of our service today, I do want to mention a couple of things. I can feel, with the touch of my hand, a significant amount of decreased tension. Does that feel in alignment with what you're experiencing physically? Yeah, especially in this area. Uh-huh. Right, and so I can also tell you have some increased mobility just as I wiggle these hips back and forth. Now initially they were quite tight and there really was not any momentum possible within that pelvic hip area. So now they're a little bit more uh, flexible. And then, you know, where I mentioned that fluid retention I can feel there's definitely still some there, however it does feel decreased from when we first started our procedure today. And what I would like to do is I'm going to pull this up for you because I want you to stay resting for as long as you need. You are more than welcome to rest for an extended amount of time that feels comfortable. So I'm just going to pull that up for your comfort and let me go ahead and remove 
have your hair tie and that's your complimentary hair tie I'll keep that for you uh, with the rest of your belongings and we've got you all complete how are you feeling now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's great yeah that's right and I do appreciate you utilizing that request on the consultation form about explaining what I'm doing and the purpose of that I'm, I'm glad that you don't mind some talking during your service I do know that sometimes it does increase relaxation for some people and for some people it does not and that is totally fine all right, so you are all set and we will see you next time for your next procedure.